Watson, this is Alexander Graham Bell. I am speaking to you from the next room. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Drats. My newfangled telephonic talking machine box invention is a complete and utter failure. important as this, the greatest invention in the world. I am sorry to say that your invention will cause much misery and anguish in the future. What? How? <laughs> Who's he? Telephonic talking machine box repairman. And how will he cause misery and anguish? <sighs> okay, that's something I didn't need to see. <laughs> or smell. Get me out of here! Ow! What? Ow! Mr. Greeple? One second, Ian. I haven't finished speaking. And I want you all to write the essay on what you think the single most important moment in history is and why. And it's worth 60% of your final grade. And those who fail will have to attend summer school. And it's due Friday and you have to hand it in yourself. Any questions? Oh, and no excuses will be accepted. Yes, Ian Kelly? Can you please step off my foot? Yes, yes, I can step off your foot. Uh, will you please step off my foot? Better. Yes, I will. 60% of my final grade? What am I going to write about? No way I'm going to summer school. I don't know. Summer school's not so bad. I mean, my dad said it's cheaper than camp. Huh? Look, we are not going to summer school. There are tons of great moments in history. So which one of the tons of great moments is the single most important one, and why? I don't know. I'll think about it at my part-time job on the movie set. See ya! <laughs> Good afternoon, Grace. Uh, uh Miss London. <sighs> Grace London. Ian, when you're finished goofing around, get me a yummy cheese sandwich. Schnell. <laughs> yes, Mr. Wolfenstein, sir. <laughs> well, now, what do we have here? Too healthy, too healthy, too healthy. Aha! Chocolate. Perfect. <laughs> the greatest moment in history. Hmm, what could it be? Action! Ah, Grace London. <gasps> the discovery of fire. Maybe that's the greatest moment in history. Ah! 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 Ah!
Mr. Wolfenstein. Mind yummy cheese sandwich. Uh, cheese sandwich, right. Uh, I'm making it as we speak. <laughs> okay, Ian, concentrate. The single greatest moment in history was... <laughs> Chocolates now. <laughs> Ian, these aren't just chocolates. They're chocolate-covered coffee beans. Yeah, so they taste amazing. Yeah, there's caffeine in coffee beans, Ian. And one of the side effects of caffeine is insomnia. Insomnia? That's where Count Dracula's from. Count Dracula's from ammonia. <laughs> Never correct me. Insomnia is when you can't sleep. <laughs> can't sleep? Uh, oh boy. Excuse me. And that's another side effect of caffeine. <laughs> Count sheep and fall asleep. Count sheep and fall asleep. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, 1,426 sheep, 1,427 sheep. Okay! This isn't working! <sighs> Might as well try to write that essay. The single greatest moment in history was... Orville, I think we've done it. As do I, Wilbur. The name Wright Brothers will forever be famous from this moment on. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey what about me? I'm a Wright Brother, too. Can I help? Can I, can I, can I, can I? Skippy, for the last time, will <laughs> you just leave us alone? Yeah, go play with your spinning top or marbles or something. Fine. Who needs you and your dumb airplane? I'm gonna invent my own airplane, and it's gonna be a gazillion. 
million times better than yours. <laughs> As if. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, Skippy. <laughs> 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 Ready, Orville? Let's fly. Pedal faster. Pedal faster. <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! I'm flying! I'm flying! Where's that noise coming from? Get it? I'm laughing now. <laughs> Seven thirty in the morning. I've been awake all night. Uh -oh. Wow, Ian, you look terrible. Yeah, more terrible than usual. I'm not saying a lot. No sleep. Up all night. Were you working on your essay? I told you it wasn't going to be easy. Anything you want to say to me? Yes. Pickle is a funny word. <laughs> pickle, pickle, pickle. <laughs> uh, Ian, maybe you should go home and get some sleep. Can't. Movie set. Have to work. <sighs> See you later. Ian, you need to go home and write that paper, or it's hello, summer school. Sorry, Mr. President. <sighs> I'm all out of monkey syrup. <sighs> <laughs> Golly gee willikers! The makeup department did a top-notch job! You're the best bloodless vampire victim I've ever seen! Ah, uh, it's me, Mr. Wolfenstein. Ian Kelly. Gee! Oh, so it is! Well, then, Ian, can you please do me a favor? Stop drooling on my boots! Oh, ah, uh, sorry. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me, Miss London. <laughs> Places, everyone! Time to make some magic! Oh, action! <sighs> Grace London. Oh. The moon! Maybe that's it! Houston, I am mere moments from Lunar Touchdown. Over? Roger that. Uh, over. Congratulations, Neil. You've made a lot of people happy down here. Over. Right, I'm opening the pod bay door now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Woohoo! What a view! What a view! Apollo, this is Houston. Uh, can you describe what you see? Over. I see. Ah, space vampires! Space vampires live on the moon! Meet, there are space vampires on the moon! Just punch my lead vampire in the guts! No! Oh, uh, 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 sorry. You're ruining my film. Go home and get some sleep. Yes, Mr. Wolfenstein. But first, make me a yummy cheese sandwich! Yes, Mr. Wolfenstein. <laughs> Must go to bed. Hello? Hey, Ian, it's Sandy. Did you finish your history essay? I'll oh, finish it tomorrow. Sleep now. What? You can't. It's due tomorrow. It's due Friday. Today's Wednesday. And today's Thursday. The essay's due tomorrow. What? Oh, no. I didn't sleep last night. It felt like one long day. You better get crappy, or it's a one-way ticket to summer school. But I'm so beat. How am I going to stay awake? <sighs> Why don't you try drinking some coffee? Uh, get a coffee? Uh-oh. Ian? Ian? Oh! <sighs> don't fall asleep. Uh, don't fall... <laughs> uh, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Uh, uh.
Ow, ow, don't fall asleep. <sighs> think, Ian, think. The single greatest moment in history was... He's right, sir. The Earth is flat. And if we keep sailing, we're gonna fall off the edge. Nonsense. Christopher Columbus shall prove that the Earth is round. What happened? I think we hit land. The new world. I discovered it. I'm so awesome. <laughs> In the name of Christopher Columbus, I name thee Columbus Land. You can't do it, man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a you want to call it America? That's only like the worst name ever. Oh, and I told you the Earth is round. I told you. I. <laughs> what do we do now? Quick, help me find reverse on this thing. <laughs> And I thought writing this thing was going to be as easy as falling off a log. Wait a second. I got it! Interesting. Now what made this apple fall? Some unknown force must have made this apple fall. I shall call this force gravity. What's going on? I've just discovered the force of gravity. I dare say, this is the most important discovery in the history of the universe. The name Sir Isaac Newton shall be famous. Yeah, you'll be famous all right, but not for discovering gravity. For what then? For not realizing that a talking worm is a bigger discovery than a stupid falling apple. <sighs> you insolent worm! No, Ian, don't! Ian! 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 Huh? Uh, yeah, Dad? Shut the window, it's raining. Oh, uh, okay. Good night, son. Try to get some sleep, will you? Yeah. Oh, man, it's really pouring out there. Yes! The perfect night to test my theory. Just need to toss this kite in the air and... Let's try that again, shall we? And... Yeah. Hmm, of course. I must pull the string and run, and the kite will glide majestically through the air. <laughs> ah, booey. I'm getting soaked to the bones. This was an utterly ridiculous idea. I am such a fool. What? Hey, come back! Ah! important moment in history is the discovery of electricity when Benjamin Franklin trudged through that lightning storm with a kite in his hand. Get up! Come on! Get up! No use. He's out. 
Hmm. And it looks like he didn't finish his paper. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, I can't believe it. Ian's gonna fail. And that means summer school. Come on, Ty. We better go. We can't be late. Okay. See ya, E. Hey, wait! Look! He finished his essay. He just didn't print it. I'll take care of that. Remember what Griebel said. You have to hand in your own assignment. No exceptions. So how are we going to get him and his paper to Griebel's class in time? Push! Push! I'm pushing! I'm pushing! Go oh, away! Hey, this is a matter of life in summer school! All right! We made it! Just in time! What's with him? He must be dreaming. Hmm. I wonder what he's dreaming about. <laughs> How they got here, we may never know. Stamp eyes on the moon. Maybe a rocket or a UFO. Stamp eyes on the moon. We love to move. So won't you listen for the hip? Just keep singing, keep singing this tune for us.